Hi, my name is Thomas Brooks and I'm a member of the business support team here at HPXL. Welcome to this quick video. It's going to be taking you through the 3D photo visualizer for the Plans Express software. Uh, as you can see here on my screen, you have a basic layout of a house. Now what I've done here as well, I've used a slab to represent my driveway as it's represented in 3D. I'm going to do a little trick with this. Everything's ready to go. I'm going to hit my 3D preview so you can see what this looks like in the software normally. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up the 3D photo visualizer. And once that's open there, you'll be able to see a much higher definition image of that. As you can see, here we have that. I'm going to maximize the page. Show me the back of the house there. Now I can use these tools along here to change the direction I look at this house. So I'm going to place that there. I can use the hand to move it around and zoom in and place my house where I like to. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in a custom background for this so I can actually re represent the actual build location itself. Now you can go on site and take a photograph of what's there existing. Uh, this could be for an extension, new build, and you can uh, then place your 3D on top. I'm going to go to my uh, backgrounds there. Custom backgrounds, and then on these tools on the bottom, I'm going to go custom image, drag that onto there, and it's going to ask me for where my texture is. I'm going to click edit. I'm going to go to my folders here, my plots there. Select the image I wish to use, click open, click OK, and that will that. then bring that in for me. Now I've got that there, I can do a much better job of placing this where I want it to go. Place it over here, zoom up a little bit, spin that around a little. Now, as you can see, the perspective on this isn't quite right. Now what I can do with this now is I can use the camera features here to change the viewing angle of the house. Use a 50 millimeter there, zoom that back out a little bit. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to use the roof line from the existing house next door to match up to my house there. That's where the general location should be. So let's just place along there. And now I've got my driveway coming out a little bit. I can go back to the uh, SM2 Express software and change that a little bit if I wished. I'm going to leave that as it is for the moment. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, go back to my materials and I can then start changing how this house looks. I have a full range of materials here that I can uh, bring in. First off, I'm going to go to Brick Bonds Common. Now what you'll see down here is a menu of all the different types. I can actually zoom out and show you the variety we have here. And these are just the common brick bonds. Now I'm going to go along here. I've got a light stone there. I'm just looking there. Antique pastel. I'm going to bring that on and see how these look. I'm going to click my render button there. It's currently set to a sample render. Just so it does a quick little render so you get an idea of what we're looking at there. A little bit grey for that. I'm going to go for a slightly redder antique pastel. And apply that to these as well. Hit my render button. Slightly more in colour there. Now what I can do as well now is I can change the roof colours. Go along to my roof tiles flat. Looks like a flat tile next door. I'm going to go to flat grey and bring that on there. And also for this driveway here, I'm just going to go to a standard solid colour. It's basic materials. I can search through here. I've got slate, rubber, various colours there, soft greens. I can also go to architectural exterior. I've got some asphalt, green asphalt, grey asphalt there. I've got some grey asphalt and drop that 
onto the Photo 3D. What I can do now is do a quick render just to see how that looks in real life. I can also go back to here and I can start playing with the lighting. I can actually change with the sun's altitude. So I can match up with the shadows on the photograph. You zoom with. And what you'll see here as well, it will affect the colour of the textures that you've brought on. So the sun at high there is shining straight down on the roof. I don't want it that high. I'm going to bring my zoom down. Sun altitude around the other way. A little bit. Hit my mouse button there. And there we go. Not so bright. What you can also see here as well is that the shadows are being drawn on the interior of the house. So you can see what kind of lighting we've got there. I'm going to move this shadow a little bit there. It's going to go over my wall. Take it around the other way. Take the window again. Tile. Tile's looking fine, but I'm thinking that my walls there are a little light. So go back to my materials, go back to my brick bonds, common. Go for possibly a darker red. Put utility brown. Drop these on there. As you can see, very simple drag and drop operation. Run that through there. Much, much closer to next door. Now I've got that there, I'm going to run that into a much higher resolution render. So I'm going to go to my snapshots, set my render quality up to max. Lighting quality max, material quality max, model size, building. I'm going to hit my render button now, and it will progressively go through this issue, bring up to a much higher quality. Depending on the zoom, this is going to be various uses. As you can see, it's using full render there. No, I'm going to keep that running. Just, ask, just saying it's using full CPU there. Now, while that's rendering, I will point out that with these, once you've got your final snapshot here, if you are building an extension and you want to take a view from the road and you will have something like a fence or an outbuilding that may be blocking a slight section of the view, you can use an art program such as Photoshop to uh, cut out well, that section of wall from the original photograph and place it over your render just to skew so you can have that accurate representation there. And the uses for this can be anything from uh, an example of woodwork, you know, example materials for roof tiles, different types, different colours, what a house would look like with wooden uh, window things, obviously no photos. You can use it there to show blind sight issues, you can take a snapshot of what it can be from neighbours' houses and produce an image that will prove no or not to be blocking blind sight to the fantastic countryside in your building or something like on next door. As you can see there, it's coming out nice at the end of the resolution there, so it's just done the uh, image for me. And what I can do now is I can actually take a snapshot of this. I can export that render and save that. Once that's saved, I can minimize these. And on my desktop, I will be able to go to my photo export image and bring that up there. There we go. Now, of course, with a little bit more time and attention, you can produce some absolutely fantastic results with this software. Uh, if you are interested, please give the support team a call on 0845-1234-085 with a new customer. Have a talk with your local consultant there. Thank you very much. My name is Tom Brooks, and thank you for watching.